the South Carolina night hunting dilemma. Do you take that big boar? Do you take that coyote? I went for the big boar tonight because my hog numbers are down. I think I've got three, maybe four hogs out of 22 this year, 22 harvests. And I was at a couple other properties, brand new properties, and I called in a fox at the first one. Second one called in a coyote, but it was a far shot with the 22 mag. Didn't take the shot. I'm gonna go back with the bigger rifles here. Driving past the third property on my way to the fourth and didn't start till about midnight tonight. So we're working our way about three in the morning, third property. I look out in the field and there's a coyote that bedded and got up and was in the front field. I made a loop, came back. I tried to get out there and get ready before he made his way into the field. And I got caught out there where everybody calls, all the other guys call out there in that front field. So I threw out some, I mean, I couldn't, couldn't go out into the field anymore because the coyote was already out in there. Threw out some rat distress, tried crazy bird, and then I tried some um, Heath Baker cat. Cause there's a couple cats over by the farmyard. That coyote, you're gonna see the video, comes back to this backfield. This is normally where I hunt him in the backfield. So I make my way back across that field pretty quickly. And there was a house cat right in the dividing line that slowed me down a little bit. I thought it might have been a bobcat, but when I seen it take off after I shot the hog, it was a it was a house cat. But when I come up to the opening to this backfield, I thought the cows were gonna be in here because I seen a big heat signature. And then there was another one beside it. That hog was looking at that coyote, looking at each other, checking each other out. And I had a shot at either one. I took the boar because uh, I like getting these boar, these big boars out of here. Not a lot of hogs nowadays on lands I'm hunting. There's a lot of night hunters out there. They're really putting a hurting on the hogs. A lot of coyotes though, and I know that I can come back and get that coyote. Another thing that's happening here in South Carolina, it has been warm in February. So the grass is already growing. I can tell in here, this hog was out in here just grazing on this, this field that the cattle are normally in and decided to take this for my 22nd kill of 2023. Much more coming. We're gonna be back after that coyote pretty soon. I know he'll be back here in his backfield. Thanks for liking, watching, subscribing. Stay tuned for a lot more.